Hmm. I wonder if there's like 80 different types of ice planets out here or something. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good evening. Whatever you may be. My name is Endov, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Uh, first off, a quick thank you to my newest subscriber, the one Rosalind Myers. Uh, thank you very much for joining my eternal crusade against YouTube and its sorting algorithms. And now a general PSA. With the upcoming release of Odyssey later this week, make please make a note of your flight configurations. I, I cannot necessarily say that uh, our usual methods of backing them up will work, but back them up if you can. Well, not if you can. Back them up and uh, hopefully it will all work out for you. But moving on to news around the verse. So, the Federation, in its infinite wisdom, is continuing its warrantless wiretapping and general surveillance of its citizens' communications. Ha! <sighs> The Federation government has determined that the failure of Shadow President Felicia Winter's campaign to distribute methods of data and privacy protections to uh, eclipse President Hudson's call for uh, similar data to dump directly into the PDB is a mandate from its citizens to continue uh, snooping at the data. Now, personally, I would uh, advise the Federation that uh, these, com these community goals, these uh, requests for data, were open to the public. So, not necessarily that this was a concerted effort by the citizens of the Federation to say, yes, go ahead, keep snooping my data, keep collecting everything. And... One more planet. No, two more. Can't count. And, well... If I were a betting man, I would actually say that it was more likely that my President Hudson was sweetening the pot with a, another one of those special modules that will no doubt be available en masse from technology brokers soon enough. Also, an absurd amount of credits never discount the possibility of simple greed being the driving factor for people giving away their liberties. And you know what people say about security and liberty. If they are willing to give away liberty for security, they deserve evil. As for the Alliance, things are in turmoil as Prime Minister Mahan and Councillor Kane are touring the Alliance spaces and countering each other's rhetoric with claims of failure. Currently in polling, Edmund Mahan commands a lead, though it is narrower than the lead that he held in February when the original voting was to be conducted. And I am misaligned with this whole system, aren't I? Well, anyway. And Councillor Kane has claimed that the Alliance simply being represented at the Galactic Peace Conference was enough. And why they were targeted in the Nine Martyrs bombings. To which I should... Good God, this planet is... Th this system is a mess. That's the, that's the problem. Anyway, to which... To that I say shame. Mere presence was not the main reasoning. If you would even bother to listen to the NMLA, you would know that merely existing in the galaxy and not being an outspoken critic and opponent and enemy of the Duvals was simply enough. Clearly, why the hell else would Lay have been targeted if not for that fact? Well, there is the issue that uh, Edmund Mahon does control the system, but that's beside the point. Anyway, as for the Dark Wheel, 
Our expansion efforts out of the nine pupa system are currently delayed due to a war. Yeah. Hello, this is the end of from the future, and my information was actually incorrect. The war is over, and so I am heading directly, almost directly, back to the nine pupa system. Anyway, I thank you all for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that little bell for notifications, and to join me in my eternal crusade against YouTube and its sorting algorithms. And hopefully, I will see you all in the next video.